We're going to do a quick walkthrough of our four-wheel drive Sprinter Sportsmobile Pop Top Weekender that we have for sale. Let's take a closer look. We start off with the exterior. We have a Fiamma 45 awning with a Sportsmobile Pop Top and a luminous roof rack. As we walk around the side of the van, you'll notice we have a luminous steps. We have brand new aftermarket wheels with BFG KO2s. We have a tuned Agile full suspension kit, uh, RIP kit. A luminous front bumper with driving lights and LEDs. As we walk around the other side, you notice we have a ladder as well and a front light bar. And again, a luminous steps. We swing around to the rear. We have a spare luminous tire rack that frees up an opening underneath where the spare tire goes so you can put a water tank if you like there. As well as on the other side, we have a swing away carrier for a cargo box. You put a generator, propane tanks in here, as well as we will be swapping out these kayak carriers for bike carriers. And on the rear bumper, you also notice that we have additional backup lights for uh, lighting and even a step, hitch step. As we move inside, you see we have a Moab bed. This bed's fully removable, adjustable height. CR Lawrence, extra large vented slide windows. We have USB and 12 volt outlets everywhere in the van. Top, bottom for all your phones. Also one over here. We have added some additional lighting that Schwarzenegger doesn't include in the back. As we step inside, we have reclining captain's chair bench seats. All three of these reclined. You can see have CRS for kids seats, the perforated, really comfortable seats. And you can see the sports wheel pop top, which raises up so you have the opening for the entire van. We have more 12 volt outlets. We have a $3,000 audio system that includes JL amps. JL 8 inch subwoofer and then focal speakers and you can see we added additional L track throughout the van as well as a Moab bed on the side of the walls. You see our lagoon table system where you can seat four people and eat. We have factory swivels also which are nice or low profile. They don't rattle. They roll real smooth. As we move up front, we also have the Alpine deck. It's a $700 deck. Um, has everything, Bluetooth, um, CarPlay. It's actually really, uh, has a lot, of, a lot of features with the RAM mount here and a RAM mount as well here. And our light switches are on the side over here for all the front lights, top lights, back lights. As we step around, we also have solar. You have 200 watts of solar on top of the roof rack, as well as we have S-Bar D2L heater, which is your new heater, which is a lot quieter than their older one with the new Pro Controller. Also has a longer service life on the fan. And the heater is located underneath the passenger seat along with all of the fuse panels electronics so it's easy to get to them. We do this so you can actually get to your fuse panel and everything underneath here if you need to without taking off the seat. We'll take a quick climb up to the roof as well. You can see up here, we'll climb up to the roof and you can check out the top. You can see the top of the roof rack. We have the solar panels, it's perforated, 
This is actually a, a upgrade so you can sit up here with lawn chairs if the top is down and you have all the mounting rails and everything up here. Everything's wired nice and neat and you can add or so take out these panels just with some zip ties so it makes it nice if you want to add more panels or just take off a panel because you have more gear up top. This van seats five and sleeps four. The rear springs, you might not be aware, these are tuned springs, they're not factory springs. They actually weigh the van and tune them and then put Fox shocks. So this is a really, really high-end quality system. There's not a whole lot else you could do to this van other than uh, maybe adding a deck storage area back here if you want pull-out drawers. But I leave this all open and adjustable so you can run bikes or do whatever you want, lots of gear, and left it real flexible because it is a low roof. Thanks for checking this van out. We'll put some more videos later on once we get the bike racks in, but I thought I'd close, close, uh, post a quick video just so you could see how nice this van is. It's really, really, really nice. Super clean. Definitely an exceptional um, build on this van, especially for a weekender. Thanks for checking it out.